What's going on, everybody? It's Kanye. In today's video, we're gonna be doing another uh, Play Like a Pro episode, and today we're gonna be doing Prime James Harden. Now, um, depending on when you define James Harden's prime, like he's still playing very well right now, but uh, I'm gonna go with more of a Rockets. Uh, James Harden, you know, while with the Rockets, one season he averaged 36.1 points. Um, another season he averaged 29.1 points and like eight rebounds and 11 assists. So, you know, a guy that could average close to triple double, got a lot of triple doubles in multiple seasons, um, but also could, you know, just be a straight bucket. And the season he averaged 36 points, I believe he averaged six boards and seven and a half assists as well. So, you know, we're going to make a, a pretty well rounded player, really, really good shooter, solid inside score, good ball handler, passer, and a guy that can grab boards. Um, one thing I will Will say and this is something I am gonna you know hone in on there's gonna be two different ways you can make this build and I'll kind of go through them once we get to the attribute progression um, but the one is gonna be James Harden didn't play a lot of defense didn't put a lot of effort on defense at times so we will have the defensive stats lower on one version and then they'll have you max them out on the other if you want to be a good 2k build um, we are gonna be making this at the uh, the two guard position because while at the Rockets he was listed as a two guard most of the time I know he plays point more now but we will be making a two guard um, and yeah uh, let's get started uh, you know, don't hesitate to like and subscribe and enjoy the video. So getting into this, uh, pie chart options. Um, you know, I was thinking personally, I would like to do this more green than blue pie chart. Um, James Harden can finish at the rim really well, but we don't need to give him contact dunks just because like, you don't think contact dunks, um, when you think James Harden and you don't think James Harden when someone asks who you know who's a good contact dunker but he could finish at the rim really well I'm not taking away from that another thing is you know the blue yellow pie chart you still get a good amount of ball handling um technically we could do a yellow green but I think James Harden's better at finishing at the rim than a yellow green um and you know not only that like defensively defense is the weakest point in this build and I think that's real realistic to James Harden as well for physical profile I would say we go pure speed um now for attribute uh, application, I'm going to max our close shot, max our driving lit, max our driving dunk. Going to max our mid range, our three and our free throw, max pass accuracy, ball handle. And then for defense, go ahead and max out lateral quickness, perimeter defense, steal, defensive rebound, and offensive rebound. And then the last eight, throw them on. Um, well, take your post control up to 37, then throw the last five on post fade. So if you make the build this way, this is the best way to make it in terms of 2K as far as laying things out. You're going to have 11 finishing, 22 shooting, 14 playmaking, 6 defensive rebounding badges, which is going to give you, uh, is that 53? Yeah, 53 badges, which is a really good badge count. Now, um, to make it more like James Harden, I would, you know, go more like this route. Um, leave the lateral quickness up. Take this down, take this down, and we can take these last 19. You can get yourself another finishing badge. Um, you can get some more shooting badges. Take these up to 23. Take this up, get you another playmaking badge. So, I mean, there's definitely different things you can do. Um, this is the way I would probably lay it out in terms of realistic James Harden from a defensive standpoint. Um, so the badge count changes. We go from... Uh, 53 badges. Now we got 11 finishing still, 20 up to 23 shooting, up to 15 playing in two defensive rebounding badges. So instead of having 53, we now have is that 11 plus 51. So we lose two badges. Um, we gained a badge in shooting and we gained a badge in playmaking. We lost four in defense and rebounding. So this is how I would make it in terms of like a realistic James Harden build. He didn't play a lot of defense. Your rebounding is still max so you can grab boards um, because he was a good rebounding player um, as we can see. But um, outside of that, you know, your playmaking gets boosted uh, in terms of badges. You don't really need post control for James Harden. You also get a little bit of a post fade, which not necessarily a necessity. And then, you know, the finishing stays the same. So make these either way you want. I'm going to focus on making it more of a 2K build, so I am going to uh, leave this stuff maxed. Um, that being said, um, you definitely, by all means, can you know move this stuff around and tweak it however you want. I'm just, this is the best 2K version of the build, and again, if we're talking realistic, James Harden, like I said, play like a pro, knock these down and put them how I showed you. Uh, but we're talking, I still want the build to be good at 2K. Um, in terms of body type, I would go, you know, defined. We'll stay 6'5. Um, then we're going to minimize our weight. And here's where it gets tricky. So I would probably, um, it depends. 
So a lot of people like to play, uh, you know, rec and the rec players, they like to have their build stay at 92. So they'll make builds purposely to where there's no point in getting them to 99. So what I mean by that is, you know, if you're going to make this build to play in the rec and you don't want to be a 99 overall player, I would lower your wingspan to 78.8 so you can get the 80 ball handle. That being said, if you're going to max this player out, um, what I would advise is, you know, you can go really anywhere with the wingspan here. You could leave it the same. Um, what I would suggest is going to an 83.3. You don't really need to go higher because you're not getting any benefit from it. But if you go to an 83.3 at 99 overall, you'll have an 80 driving dunk and unlock some more animations. Um, so if you're going to make this build for 99, go 83.3. If you're going to make it for anything below 99, go to 78.8. Um, so when we look here, once we've set our physicals and assuming we're at a 99 overall, we're going to have a 98 close shot. We'll have an 88 driving layup, 80 driving dunk, 88 mid range, 86 three ball, which that could be higher. And again, you can lower the wingspan to make that higher. Um, playmaking, we're going to have 83 pass act, 82 ball handles. So we're going to get good animations. Um, in terms of defense, which isn't really that important since this is a James Harden build, but you have an 81 perimeter defense, 77 lateral quickness, 84 steel. You'll have a 61 offensive rebound, 69 defensive rebound. So you will be able to grab some boards. Um, it's harder in 2K as a guard to get a ton of boards. You can if you play it a certain way, but uh, regardless, you will be able to grab boards on this build. Um, one thing I will say, um, again, is if you make this to be the more, you know, defend, uh, the more realistic version of the build towards James Harden to take off some of the defense um, you would have like a uh, 78 post fade so that's something to be interested in um, when we look at the physicals you get a plus four for 99 then you get another plus four for your Gatorade boost so we're gonna have a 95 speed and a 92 acceleration so that's really really good on a 6.5 guard and then we're gonna have an 81 vertical which is really good as well um, in terms of takeover what I would advise, uh, since this is a James Harden build, um, you know, one thing you could do is playmaking take just so when the build's not at 99 and you don't, or not even at 97, you don't have your 80 ball handle. You can throw on play take and run the one, uh, to get your assist numbers similar to James Harden. That being said, um, you know, shot creator take would be realistic for James Harden. You know, in his Rockets days, everyone knew about his signature step back that was like six step backs in one. So you have that option. Uh, you could do spot up shooter take. Um, the cool part about slashing take on this build is then when on takeover, you do get contact dunk. So really there's not a wrong choice here. So I'll leave it up to y'all. Personally, even though I don't like shot creator take, I think it's just good for James Harden. So we are gonna go with shot creator take. And you're gonna see we've made a mid range facilitator. Now, I don't necessarily think that this name would uh, add up to what James Harden is as a player. But again, it's hard. I, I think it would be better if it was, you know, a three point facility or something like that. But that being said, the way we have the attributes laid out, this is how I'd make James Harden a prime James Harden build. We'll go ahead and go over and we'll uh, show you how to do the badges as well. Um, while we're waiting for this to load up, I just want to say if you all have watched to this point, I appreciate you all uh, watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and I appreciate the support. And please don't hesitate to drop a comment for another plug, a pro you'd like to see. Um, I do these pretty much solely based off of uh, comments. Uh, most of these literally have been since the first couple have been comments that people have put in. I've just kind of started working on them here and there and mixing them into my other videos that I post. So you see, you have a player you want to see built, by all means, throw it in the comments and I'll, I'll get it done. Um, now we're at our badges. So we've got 11 finishing badges. Uh, James Harden is definitely going to have gold slithery finisher. Uh, we'll definitely do gold limitless takeoff. Since we don't have contact dunks, I'm not going to worry about posterizer. I throw fearless finisher on bronze. Acrobat I throw on bronze. Um... After that, uh, maybe we could do um, fast twitch on silver. So if we're under the bat, no, I don't want to do that. Let's go ahead and just do this. We'll throw fearless finisher on silver and gold acrobat. You know, this is going to give you good, you know, finishing around the rim. You're going to be able to do a lot of different moves. So I think that's how we want to do that. For shooting, uh, we're going to do sniper on uh, Hall of Fame, uh, blinders on Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame dead eye, silver hot zone, silver stop and pop, bronze lucky seven. Um, silver circus three silver di difficult shots um, you don't even need those on silver technically catch and shoot i mean it's a good badge to have but i wouldn't necessarily put it on james harden um volume shooter would be a good one for james harden but again i'm trying to do this in terms of 2k as well I'll, i'm gonna bronze these um and i'm going to uh put silver green machine on and then i'm gonna put 
uh, Bron's catch and shoot. Again, you know, James Harden shoots the ball in a lot of different ways. I think these are must-haves because he does shoot off the dribble. Lucky Seven is just a really good 2K badge. Stop and pop somewhere, you know, that'd be good for James Harden. Green Machine, he gets on fire, you know, he's just a stud. Uh, just a stud that's it uh, these are like shooting badges you have to have in terms of 2k so that's how I would lay out a shooting badges um, if there was a free throw one I'd put it on there especially for prime James Harden but they got rid of that um, now for playmaking um, just because of what he did to Wesley Johnson I'm gonna give him bronze ankle breaker because I mean everyone knows that clip if you haven't seen the clip look up him breaking Wesley Johnson while Wesley Johnson was on the Clippers at the time disgusting um so we're gonna go gold quick first step we'll go silver quick chain silver handles for days actually we're gonna max those we're gonna go bronze unpluckable uh silver bullet passer and let's go ahead we don't need tight handles or triple thread to space creator stop and go post playmaker no 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 um on the last night either throw it on bailout or uh glue hands glue hands will give you better catch animations for shots bailout allow you to take pass out of a bad shot um, and if you're going to be doing a lot of moving shots, bailout might not be a bad idea. But I will say on this build, in order to make it even more like James Harden, you probably want more playmaking badges. Um, and that's where if you minimize out your defense, throw it on your playmaking to get the extra badges. Or, you know, if you've hit level 39 and a lot of seasons, you'll have extra badges. Throw them on playmaking because you could definitely, you, you know, you could use tight handles or space creator. Space creator would be a big one for James Harden. I will say I would have that on. Even I'd probably even take off bailout and throw on space creator. Um, but, you know... You know, stuff like that is definitely something you would want on a James Harden build. Tight handles, stop and go. Pretty much any dribbling badge that involves, you know, getting yourself open for shots would be something you'd want on James Harden. And then upgrading some of the ones that have bronze here as well. Um, now for defense and rebounding, here's what I am going to say with defense and rebounding. I'm going to throw on silver clamps from a 2K perspective. Bronze chase on artist because it's a really cheap for one badge. You know, having those animations is huge. Um, outside of that, uh, Go ahead and throw on bronze pick dodger and then i'm gonna throw on silver rebound chaser just because you know james harden does grab boards and in his prime was grabbing a lot of them so you know this will help you get rebounds if you want to crash and go for rebounds and you know in order to get those james harden style stat lines that being said from a 2k perspective i would do this um but since we're making a james harden build, i'm gonna do this uh but yeah that's how i'd lay out the badges um there's definitely different ways you can make a James Harden build. Like I said, you could definitely do the uh, green yellow as well and just kind of take a hit on the finishing. Um, but Prime's James Harden, Prime James Harden was finishing at the rim really well. And he still, you know, he still goes to the rim. So, I, I mean, you could do the green yellow. You could do an even blue green even. But, you know, you don't. I don't think you need that much finishing. But this is how I would recommend doing it. There's definitely other ways to do it. But this is my... Uh, personally my best idea of what i would do for a prime james harden build i hope you all enjoyed the video um if you have any other ideas like i said please don't hesitate to drop them in the comments um, also you know please don't hesitate to drop a like and subscribe i appreciate it a lot you know it means a lot to me and you know shout out to everybody who's still watching so y'all have a good one and i'll see you later peace